Hey Jody Rockers, welcome back to Jody Rocks Fishing. Well today we're going to do another catch, clean, and cook for y'all. Recently Summer and I went offshore with some friends and we got some vermilion snapper, which is a small species of snapper but they're very good, excellent eating fish. They're a lot like the yellowtail snapper in the Keys, but up here they're bright red and got big red eyes and we call them either red eyes or vermilion snapper. So we're going to be cooking some of those up tonight. But real quick, go check out this footage of us catching a couple, then I'll see you guys at the cleaning table. And I'll see you guys back here at the kitchen and at the grill because we're going to be doing them on the half show. Big enough for a million, but I did get one keeper so far. I'll check him. I'll check him. Get right behind you, right there. Oh, we got a vermi. Got a vermi. What you got, Summer? Is that a good fish? What you got, kiddo? It's like a little, oh, that's a big, big, big vermilion. Oh, this came off. That's a good size vermilion. Nice one, Summer. Nice one, Summer. Let me see him, pumpkin. That's probably a 12 incher. I got measuring right there and I got them on the front one up here too. Summer got a keeper vermilion, I think. Yeah, get you. you all right, kiddo? Alright, and we can pin this tail and he is almost 13. Nice. So, uh, the... See if it's another big bee liner. She just caught another one that was short. And it's a... Uh, oh, I think it's probably another nice bee liner. Come on, Summy. Oh, be a trigger. What you got, Summer? Yep. Another fat bee liner. You got it. That one will that one will keep, I'm sure. Yeah, one. Nice one, Summer. Oh, with a little pencil. Catching some bee liners. Oh, that, one, yeah. that is a fat one. Well over. All right, guys. Well, here's my three vermilion snapper. Nice little ones. These are about 13 inches, 12 and a half, 13 inch vermilions. They got to be 12 inches to keep. All right, guys. With my three vermilion snapper, I'm going to do these super easy, super simple, simple, because what we're going to do is we're going to cook these on the half shell. Just going to fillet them off like this. I'm going to leave the skin and the scales on. super easy and what we're gonna do is we're just gonna take this rib cage out just like this come in go like an angle and bam that's out same thing with this side go in angle cut it off get those pin bones out with it and there we go guys there's our two fillets for our vermilion snapper on the half shell. All right guys, well here's my six vermilion snapper fillets. I left the skin and scales on. And what we're gonna do is we're just gonna lay these on the grill, season them up. You don't even gotta flip them or anything. Once you lay them down, just let them sit for like 10 minutes. They're good. All right y'all, well I got my vermilion snapper fillets here. And I also got some black and red fish magic. Got a whole tub of it. That a subscriber sent me. And I'm just going to take a spoon here and I'm just going to put a little bit on there. This is all we're going to do with them. That's it. Just put a little black and red fish magic on there. All right, let me get these here. A 
put on this one. Yeah, we're just going to rub it around so they get on there real good. All right. And we got the grill heating up right now. And we're just going to go set them skin side down. Let them cook for like five, six minutes. And they should be good to go, guys. All right, well, we're at the grill. As you can see, I got a new grill, guys. It's already nice and hot. So we're going to go ahead and set these fillets skin side down. Just like that. And it should take probably, I don't know, five, six minutes, because these aren't really thick fillets. And that should be done. That looks awesome. And while I'm waiting for the fish to cook, Mama's got some vegetables in the oven going on. Ooh, look at that. Look at that. That's what I'm talking about. All right, they're coming along real nice. They're starting to turn white. They're starting to cook. Now you don't have to flip these or nothing. You just keep them skin side down and it'll cook all the way through. Very simple seasoning. You ain't got to do much to them. And they're going to have a really good flavor, y'all. I got my grill sitting about 425. And it should, at that temperature, it should only take like five minutes. All right, let's see where we're at now. We're about four minutes. Take our handy dandy fish tester and we are we're looking good looks like they're almost they are pretty much done I'm gonna let them sit for just a couple more seconds about another minute and we'll pull them off all right well that should be it see they don't stick or nothing they come off real easy super easy If you've never cooked fish on the half shell this is the way to go guys super healthy and absolutely delicious look at that guys awesome and the smell banging all right guys i'm gonna take one real quick and do a taste test before we eat dinner look at that that looks awesome. And the mama made all these vegetables. But real quick, do this, and then I'll get with Amber in summer, and then we'll eat dinner. But the girls don't like to eat on camera. That's why they never eat and do the taste test with me, because they don't like to eat on camera. All right, guys. Well, I got my vermilion snapper filet. Very, very soft, flaky fish. Comes right off the skin like that. I'm take a little bite right here. Mm. Man. That is awesome. Super simple. Super easy. And extremely healthy for you. Absolutely phenomenal. For those of you that have never eaten Vermilion Snapper, but you've eaten Yellowtail, they basically taste the same. Their meat texture is very similar. Their taste is very similar. And they kind of have the same habits. Basically, our red eyes and vermilions are the yellow tails of the north, basically. That's what we call them. But very good fish. You catch them anywhere from 80 feet of water on out to 300 and even, even past 300. Very good eating fish. Delicious fish. They got to be 12 inches minimum to keep. And I'm pretty sure you're allowed five. I'm not 100% sure. It's either five or 10. I'll have to check on that. But absolutely delicious fish. So if you guys get a chance to go out and get you some, jump at it because they're good. They're fun. And when you get on them, you can usually catch a lot. But we just caught these as incidental bycatch in this trip. But thank you guys very much for hanging out with me tonight, eating this dinner with me, and just being a part of this channel and watching these videos. I appreciate you guys very much. Until we see you all again, tight lines, Jetty Rockers, we'll be seeing you all real soon.